community feedback. Hey Ben, here's another good question on the Element 14 community for you. This mm -hmm. one comes from Simon. He has a question about wireless mini keyboards. Like this one? Like this one. Oh. So this one we used with the Raspberry Pi photo booth because right. I needed to be able to edit it on the spot. And so I needed a little keyboard and it fit nicely inside. Yeah, I have one of those at home too. Sometimes I plug it into my smart TV. Yeah, so these are really handy to use in Raspberry Pi projects. Um, what Simon wants to know is, is there a way to hack these to kind of make them permanently tied to a Raspberry Pi and remove the wireless function to mm -hmm. kind of conserve the battery? It would be a fantastic solution for people wanting to build handheld projects who also want to conserve battery. Every milliamp counts by removing the wireless functions. So you say that works if you hook in a USB cable, like if you actually just plug it directly into a computer? Yeah, this particular one, I was struggling to get the wireless function to work. Yeah, but that could I have was, been a Linux issue. Yeah, exactly. I was able to plug a USB cable into yep. this here and into the Raspberry Pi and it worked fine. Right. So, but yeah, this particular one, I was struggling with the wireless function. Well, long ago, we did a project where we hacked up one of those Xbox 360 chat pads. Okay. The little keyboard that would attach to your controller. Yeah. I used to have one, it was really it was actually pretty handy. Mm -hmm. And that was basically like a 5400 baud serial keyboard. Hmm. And all it is is a little uh, microchip pick microcontroller and then you know keyboard matrix. So there's no wireless, it's incredibly simple. So it might be possible to use, start with something like that and then build up from there. Hmm. However, the keyboard that you have has all of the function keys, control, alt, delete, mm -hmm. all that stuff that you need for a modern computer and you don't necessarily have that with the Microsoft chat pad. So yeah, I guess maybe we could do a teardown on one of those and see if we can actually remove the wireless functionality and make it as battery saving as possible. Or we could hook up another microcontroller to it and just make our own keyboard. So which do you think is a better solution, easier? more cost efficient. What we could do is we could um, plug it in and compare the power consumption if it's working wirelessly or if it's just working over USB. Mm, so we can yeah. see if it's actually saving you power to begin with. But then if you were just powering it over USB, you wouldn't need the battery, you wouldn't need the dongle, you wouldn't need a lot of stuff. Yeah, because I think it would be nice if you were making a solid unit that had a Raspberry Pi and a screen and you wanted the keyboard as just part of it. Yeah. It would be nice to not have it be connected wirelessly and then it could yeah. just be hardwired. So would you recommend using a keyboard like this or starting a little more from scratch like you were talking about with Well, we've made keyboards ourselves on the show, but we can't make a keyboard as well as this. Especially not is made. for as cheap. But if you could tap into the matrix that this keyboard runs off of, then you could use the nice buttons and then address them yourself using mm -hmm. another microcontroller. Okay. That way you'd, have, you'd know exactly what was going on and not have to worry about this using this wireless. I mean, there's probably a separate wireless module, but maybe there isn't. Like there could be a microcontroller which is also the wireless module, in which case you can't disable one without destroying the other. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we could do a teardown on one of those sometime. Maybe get a couple different models so we have a good chance of finding what works. Well, thank you very much, Simon, for that question and idea for the show. If you have any other comments or questions for us, remember to post those on the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash community feedback. I'll see you online.